Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accepting your first guest through your front desk will give them the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> it's so hard to do that voice. I just gave up on it. It's too much. In actuality, you are much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. Oh lordy. And that probably means something. <laughs> Oh, there's someone in there. I could talk to. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where do you come from? Alright, enough of the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop, crap, rubble. No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap in this side of the valley. <laughs> there isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flick back at them. Great, let me just have a look at that in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you gotta be approved before you can sell anything. Or I can sell anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, and then we'll talk. Oh, wow. Okay. Garbage. Oh, we used to come down here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal? No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And I was- and it was only magazines and pamphlets, not bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran after the big inferno. Yeah, we never used to be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never thought you'd let anyone tell you, you don't, that you don't. Ugh, don't let anyone tell you you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk pissy in the process. <laughs> Listen, I get a plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if you don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk! <laughs> I just realized I was talking to him from the other side of the fence when I could have just walked in here. So what should I get? A small bear painting. That's cute. Oh, who's that? Hi. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? Haven't seen your likes around by... Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would argue that you're a rarer sight. I like your hair. Soft bear noises. Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Ha! Huh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? What's a bus? Skeptical bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses. Okay. I 
don't know where to put this. You know what? I'll do this. Oh, that's a thing. Um, how do you know what your prestige is? Oh, it's like halfway right now. Okay. Minecraft. Oh, I just crafted another front desk. Shit. Time to delete it. How do I get rid of it? Oh no. It's stuck in here forever. Cardboard box? What? Why is that a thing? Okay, I think that should be enough for the reputation. What is he scared of? <laughs> Are you scared of me? <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks so much nicer than this. <laughs> this looks so bad. Okay. <gasps> I can put it on top. Oh my god, yes. That's so much nicer looking than this other stuff. Oh, this is a nightstand. Oh, shit. Um, what is this? Four, so I feel like these need to be in here too, so. We'll put this here. Put the little nightstand. A little thing. Obscured by the rock. I have to save it. I have to have another guest. Well, poop. The one I was dancing with. Oh god, mom's gonna be so mad. God, we haven't even like. <laughs> we've been like, oh yeah, we're gonna take like two seconds to go grab this, and we've been gone for like eight days. <laughs> oh, I just saw her. Oh, I guess she don't care. We're just chilling. Where's mom? Oh, there she is. Oh my god. <laughs> she feels useful for giving us money. Awesome. How much money do we have now? Wait, I need to know. Oh wait, how do I look? Oh, wait. 120. Damn, mom. It's a lot of money. What's this? Oh, we need tools to get rid of that. Oh, it's right there. It's inside the place. We're just taking stuff from people and putting it in our house. That's terrible. Yeah, I couldn't handle it either. <sighs> I can't imagine. Were you able to find any everything? Yeah. It took a while, but here you go. Gara, what? Yeah, it was 38 across and 1982 crossword semis. I don't know what that means. 
I found in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. What does he talk? What? Did, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, you did a good job, kid. There will be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. Who is the big cheese? <laughs> he likes the mom. How would you want to bet? What if that's- Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. But he really likes the mom. <laughs> Thanks for the garbage, I guess. Whoa! Oh my god. It's wild. Why is he moving me? He's got he's got frickin' uh fleas and stuff. He's got freaking fleas! Oh my god. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh, that's exactly my coins. Oh, I need a bed. I guess I could stick the incense in the corner. <laughs> That's so weird that you can't put it on anything. Are you the person I was looking for? No. <laughs> I don't believe you've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. Through a, ni through a nice brisk hike. Good, physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use some practice. <laughs> I feel bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking, yeah. What's a big softie like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Oh, I did get her. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, now I'm going to find another person. Okay. He's not a weasel, though I understand the resemblance. <laughs> okay, so she made an atlas. I thought this burned up in a fire. I did not know the fire was that big. <laughs> Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even have the rest. No, I have the rest. Okay. You're welcome, chick. I guess. You've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. <laughs> but enough talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pawn Voyage. Remember, Whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pawn network, find your local pawn shark and just press the green button. This guy. And increase bragging rights. <laughs> In order to improve this premises, you must now successfully complete the following task. Sure. <laughs> You're the man, buddy. Or bear, I'm sorry. So what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh wow, wow, but she found the rest of it. That's incredible. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake, and look, this is where we are. So this is like a map. Oh, we'll help him. Yes! We get the bus and an atlas. I don't know what that is. It said it's a collectible. Oh, 
A great old book with a bunch of hand-drawn maps and some mustard stains allows you to view the world map. What? Oh my god. Wait, can I make it smaller? the entire thing. Whoa, oh, a lighthouse. Cute. Cold area. Ooh, maybe we can have like a lodge there. That would be cool. Okay, I already want to build the bus station. No one can stop me. Oops. Except myself, apparently. Oh my god. Yay! Okay, dude, here you go. Yep. Aww. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. <laughs> a strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash and slap on a new sign. <laughs> oh, we got a toolbox. That means we'll be able to repair some other stuff, I think. Okay, I'm coming. Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber. And then we made beds for humans and... And where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank. Yes. Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. She's gonna kill us. Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. Alright, good. What was in that thick head of yours and you? I didn't even say anything. <laughs> you put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days! Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit and they'll bring money and trash and we'll get to learn all about them and and I get to make stuff for them. Me, Tony taught me how to build a bed and I haven't heard from him in ages. I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Oh, don't say that, mom. I don't, I'm not going anywhere. I just, it feels nice to do something out there for a change, something helpful. At least she understands. Wow, that's actually- that's a good mom. What is that? Excuse me? Anton? <laughs> Where did he come from? Is he blind? Oh, don't get up for me. I can see you just fine from here. What? Let's say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. Oh my god, is he the big cheese that the other guy was talking about? Oh wait, I did- Big cheese. <laughs> See the mafia boss? The oversized rat did say the style doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you've made quite an impact on my trash talking associate, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Cause I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. 
<laughs> or I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want. I don't care. Okay. That was weird. Yeah, where did he come from? <laughs> he just appeared. I'm starting to notice that that's just a thing in this game. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. Sleep. Oh, I gotta go all the way around the world to get out of here. I would have thought she was gonna be mad that we're doing stuff for humans, but I guess she's okay with it. <laughs> she's looking at the tree and telling it it could be a nice table. Who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. Why, you're a big fellow, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. That's all right, you're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. Who are you? Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I am, I've been the keeper of these woods since I could tell Joppy Joffrey from a blue shra shag. Oh, maybe that's types of trees. Do you know where you are? Ow. <laughs> What's a blue shag? <laughs> oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. Well, we're in Timber Crossing. Oops. It said one of the largest something. And now she's saying, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Lately, I've, not, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I might have put a few things together. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your town. Hopefully I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Oh. Oh, I was doing the grandma voice and then I stopped. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get better at it. It'll take time. Oh, it's scared of me. That's right. People are scared of me. I forgot. Okay. Ugh. Let me see something. So do I have clothing? No! I got a little hat. Oh! It's so cute! I love it. And I can see the inside of the house. Look. <laughs> I guess we'll find her. South of Timber Crossing. Okay. <laughs> He's so suspicious. I don't trust him. Oh, you think it's down here? Yeah, it must be straight down. Yeah. Okay. The desert? Really? Already? Oh, it's so nice. Whoa! This is definitely the junkyard he was talking about. Ooh, we got some red fabric. That'll be useful. Alright, Mr. Rat Dude. Who is this? Is she a detective? Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining lining. Be lying in a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. <laughs> oh my. Uh oh, ten o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. 
our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem with us? No, not yet anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. Oh my god. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> He's not gonna tell him. Oh, he told him anyway. He told him his name. <laughs> oh my god. Then why did he harp on like so much saying that he wasn't gonna say it? Listen, you haven't earned all of those questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good. Bringing people back up in the valley. And that's good news for everyone. But we've got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs. I was negotiating and partially, a partially heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turn around and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need, you need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find here if you get us Wade back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay. Cool. Looks like a good place to hide a body. Damn! I'm not sure if I should be saying that after having that conversation. Oh, I can fast travel. That's why. Oh my god. That makes life so much easier. There's the shark. Hello. Nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. <laughs> Hello again. Be part of the next exciting enterprise. Okay, we can do that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads. <laughs> There's nobody here. This is the one. This is the one they sing. Ah. This is the one they sing about. Oh, country roads take me home. Okay, I see. And this brand new premium habitu- <laughs> And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. This is literally a shop across the road! <laughs> Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities. Then that completely defeats the purpose of everything he's been talking about. Oh my god. You should always trust your senses. Okay. Whatever, dude. Oh, I thought that was a per I thought that was an animal. It's definitely not. Oh my god, who is that? Okay, we need st Oh, this is the stone. Okay. That was easy. I have to talk to this possum. I have to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when you grow up, you cry. Because people don't tell you what to do. I just don't do anything anymore. Worked out so far. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love him. Oh my god. Okay, this is- ooh, rubber slap. Interesting, interesting. That should be everything we need. Yep. Oh, it looks-
looks so much nicer than it did. I'm currently in position one out of one. <laughs> okay. As a leisure expert, I'm sure your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probably profitably operation. Trick the humans to come over. Tr trick the humans to come over? I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. Okay. We should probably try to build a bedroom here right now. Ooh, hygiene. Okay, let's do bedroom first. Because that's what we need. Hopefully we'll have enough money. Uh, that'll just have to do for a minute. sound is weirding me out. <laughs> I don't know where to put this, so I'll just put it here. <laughs> Easy enough? Oh, we can get the clock. That makes me so happy. And the jukebox. Yeah, we have to bring this stuff to the other place. Oh, is this a painting? Yeah. So we need a rug. <clears throat> and we need like... Well, I can craft some stuff. A book cabinet. That's nice. Janky bathroom here. We do have to build a bathroom. So the best one, I think. It's probably this person. There you go. I'm not sure who's exploiting who. <laughs> Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanctuary facilities. Okay. Yeah, I'll build a bathroom next. But I ain't got money yet. Ooh, toilet recipe. Cool. I do wish I could turn off the quest tracker. I'm gonna have to look up and see if that's possible because it's driving me crazy. It was this way. Clean. Very clean run, if I do say so myself. Some random couches everywhere. Is that what it's like when you go in the forest? Somebody tell me. <laughs> oh. Is that him? Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, hello. Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe. Bad mushrooms. Heard a noise coming from the trees. Uh, no, I was just looking. Cause I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I was just looking for a friend. A friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be? He's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately, come inside. Oh, don't get all, go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. <laughs> 
Wade is just hanging out with whatever that thing is. What is that? What is that? That is... It's bizarre looking. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh golly! And then what happened? I can't do this! That thing is creepy! It's like oddly cute, but it's freaking creepy! We got a pe we got a piece and scrammed. Wow, that's what it was like, the thing! <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face. Oh, you mean the little old artifact that truly- that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's tank too, really bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa! Twig, what I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal where? Yes, um, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade? Are, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no I'm not. <laughs> oh yes he is. A festering noisy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna need some tea for this. Oh god. My voice is like dying. This is like so much for my voice. I was prepping him for pickling if you need to know. Her eyes! Oh my god! His tiny bones for feather holders. No you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Is that her kid? What? That makes no sense. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly pre preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But you just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. <laughs> so there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. Oh, I just picked some. How many do you want? I have some. Seven. Okay, I only have four. Oh, why is my screen. Oh, it's nighttime. I gotta sleep. I don't really want to sleep here, but alas. <laughs> I need to. There's roosters in the swamp. Okay, I got your charcoal lilies, bro. Got what I asked for? Haha, <laughs> of course I did. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. <laughs> oh my. Charlotte the half-tailed alligator struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary, but didn't always stick the landing. That's what I figured. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Tadpole? Are you kidding me? Who by their mere tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fix Hank in her big boiling car boat. That's a hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am? Scram. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He's so small. He like barely shows up on the screen. Okay, I'm heading out. Oh my god. 
<sighs> Out of the way, Charlotte. She's getting mellow in her old age. I'm gonna grab some of these because I only have one now. <laughs> oh, we gotta go to this thing. Got some pants. I feel like I need to buy this. It's just bothering me. But I don't know. The burgundy on my t shirt. That song will not get out of my head. Oh, he looks so cute. Hi. That's cute. Okay, let's see. We can use a lamp. Is there a, um, a seat, like, a cardboard box? Do you think I should put that by the, uh, the, um, the coffee table? <laughs> Or you could sit on a box, you know? <laughs> That's so rude. Oh! There he is. Oh, I gotta put those clothes on. <laughs> Oops. Alright, we're here to build the bathroom. We do have some things we can put in here. <clears throat> um, we have a possum clock. Okay, I need to finish building this. No, it needs to be connected to that. <laughs> I have to fill that in. That's so annoying. Well, I guess her room is going to be screwed up forever. Okay, we're now we're just going to build the bathroom. I guess we could do it over here. Or we could do it in the middle. But I think I'm just going to do like... I don't know how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm thinking I could just do three rooms this way, and the middle room will just be bigger. So, I think I'll do the bathroom down here. I mean, it looked, <laughs> it looked good there, but I don't know. Oh, I have to craft that first. Damn it. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, I don't have plastic. Hey, dude. Hi. <laughs> in the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. <laughs> oh my god. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although, by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Mm. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there, but I've only got two. <laughs> Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right, you're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good, they got the best food and baubles. <laughs> and they scare easily, a jerk's dream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place. Reminds me of chickens. <laughs> Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow, only stopping for the occasional <laughs> That's so horrible. <laughs> Living the dream, really. Well, you must be seeing more of them again. It doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. And maybe don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and a half a toilet. <laughs> Why the toilet? I love my little wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I really don't like gambling. Lad, you've got a nice thick skin on you. That or your thick as gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I don't know if I read that right. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right. So making some extra beans on the side. Getting a kick out of scaring their little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat. I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Bah! What are you going to use it for? Buying food? Ha 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 ha. How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me and my diddly little self and I. I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with. Alright, enough! One more word like that and I'm done with you. <laughs> I like him. They're, ke they're keeping him in here. Okay. The first rule of garban- gar- 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 archaeology is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. Claire's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass, but- I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful for a limited capacity and only under strict supervision, at least according to him. What a strange bunch. Indeed. Yes, ma'am. I always said I had enough of him, but then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of paws on hand, like for setting out on wild goose chases. Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flutter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. Yes. Do you, there has to be plastic in there, right? Yes. Yes! Junk reward completed. Yes! <laughs> oh. Trash. Oh my gosh, this is like trash galore. Oh my gosh, that weasel would be so happy being here. The baby said I gave up and I gotta get I gotta get that song out of my head. Plastic plot plot Yes! Plastic! Hooray! We have achieved the plastic of plastics! And we're actually going to use it for something useful. 
We have to give Gus a compliment. <laughs> I don't think he likes them. Or maybe he secretly likes them. Is that a turkey? Hello, sir. I cannot walk. Okay. Ips witch? Ips. I don't know how to say that name. I apologize. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's think of a good voice for this guy. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like he is a, um... Because the way he's dressed in, like, a vest and stuff, I feel like he's, like, this esteemed, like, guy. And he speaks, like, formally, but he's actually this, like, hardcore Texan because he lives in the desert. So I feel like I have to give him, like, a, like, a Texan or, like, southern accent, at least. So I feel like I should be like, you seem like you barely know how to put a foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted? I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I don't think so. You don't look the part. I've never set a foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these lands are young, you are greener than the crudest sapling. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> uh, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets. Did you just call me something? I hope for the sake- I hope for your sake they're not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I, um, might have a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll be- they'll keep coming. <laughs> I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire. Wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain. As if the gods were warring over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there is a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. <laughs> Something that old Donner was a sweet spot for. If you can get back if you can get it back up to spade, I'm sure you'll get more people to come over. Oh, that was oof, that was rough, bro. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was rough. Ooh. Wood. Fuel. Death. Can we not sell him stuff? Ah. Yeah, we can't sell it. I wish we could. Looks refreshing. Oh wait, first we have to craft this other thing. What is this? Yes. Okay. Now we can build the bathroom. And then we gotta do a sink, a toilet, and a shower. <laughs> that shower looks so bad! Oh my god. That looks horrible. I think I'm gonna do the sink next to the door. Cause that looks better. And I even have stuff for like... Oh, that's how you make it bigger. Okay, good. Cause I even have stuff for like a mirror and all. Okay, um... So I have this. And I have... A towel rack. And I have... Oh wait, is that all? I think that's all I've got. It's something though. Okay. Check. 
We got it. We got it, bros. People. Yo. We got it, guys. We got it all together. Is it supposed to make a noise? Because it doesn't. We're going to invite a guest and then I'm going to call it here for this episode. This was wild. There was so much that happened. I don't even know how to process it all. Oh my gosh, I think the possum is my favorite. He's really cool. Hygiene 8. Ooh, I don't know what the hygiene is. <laughs> He's green. He's an ogre. <laughs> or he's sick. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> that can't be good. Okay, we'll do this person. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shot debt collectors. <laughs> Yourself. That's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for our most popular facilities, a bar. That's worse. But not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment, a distillery. Okay. How refined. <laughs> well, I guess that's where we'll be starting next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. This game has been really fun to play. If you can't tell, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I also have some other updates that I want to talk about. So, let me look. The Scarlet Hollow update. <laughs> I know I'm a little late to announcing it, but if you've checked Steam or whatever, it's gonna be on the 22nd of this month, so I'll be sure to get it up sometime around that time. So, uh, you guys can see it. I'm really excited for it. It's supposed to be really good. We'll see. But I love that game, so we'll be coming out with that soon. And, of course, I'm going to continue this. I have some Genshin quests that I need to finish. <laughs> like, I want to get the Nahida quest. Maybe the Sino quest. We'll see. Um, and, yeah, I've got lots of other stuff coming out soon, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things human built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more rectangular. Parallel of the the. the. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Cord is everywhere. I need to do some cord management. Really bad.